This is Eli Perlman Storch from the Philly Soccer page here in Lot A today. We've got Josh Shu, Section 119. We are talking suspensions. Gabriel Farfan, three games. What do you think? I think it's unfortunate because he was uh, working really hard on the uh, back line, and we'll, uh, we'll miss that. Okay, obviously we're going to miss that. We'll see who plays today. But the suspension itself, there's a lot of talk. Rafael Marquez got three games for a violent intent to injure kind of tackle. Gabe's a little overzealous. Is that the same for you? I don't think so. I don't think it was a three game. So why the two extra games in your opinion? MLS said it was because he was he was reluctant to leave the, the field. There was plenty of, of off the ball stuff. What do you think? I mean, sometimes the leagues like to uh, send a message, so they're probably trying to prevent players from doing this in the future. And, and Peter Novak missing two games um, for coming onto the field, entering the fray. What do you think? I mean, that one, I don't, I don't know what the rules are for, for managers in that regard. I don't think you can be doing that, though. It sends a bad, it's not professional, is how I think. So. All righty, well, thanks a lot, and enjoy the game. Pete Mohan here, section 117, as a soccer ball flies behind me, talking suspensions. What do you think of Gabe Farfan's three games? Outrageous. Way over the line. There's no reason why three games was merited for that tackle. It was a 50-50 challenge. Both players went in on it. Um, maybe Gabe went in a little more aggressively, but three games is is crazy. I think that's... Uh, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on board with you. How about, uh, how about Peter Novak, two games? I think that's fair. All right, there you have it. Thanks. With Mark Clemmer, Section 109, that's correct? That's correct. Okay, so who starts a left back? <laughs> well, I think what we can do is we can move uh, Shannon Williams over to the left side because I like what uh, Gaddis is doing on the right. He was playing really well the, uh, the game he was in there on the right side. So uh, I think that would be a good idea as long as we have Califf and Valdez in the middle. We'll be good with those guys on the outside. And that gives you, Shannon is a pretty right-footed player, but it gives you a lot of speed. Do you worry about him not being left-footed enough? No, I don't worry about that. Players, uh, I'm sorry, I don't worry about the left-footed or right-footed or left side or right side. Guys can always pull back and switch to the other foot, and uh, a lot of times they can lose, a, lose the opposition by simply pulling it back and going to the opposite foot. That's not a problem. And with Keon Daniel out, anyone, anyone you want to see get a start on that up there in the midfield? Um, well, see, I don't know what the injury report shows. I mean, I like Roger Torres out there. Um, he's a fan favorite, but I don't know if he's available. No, not, not today. He's still, <laughs> still recovering from the MCL, working on his knee. But uh, there's a chance that Kai Herdling, the new signing from Hoffenheim, might be out there. That's definitely um, an interest I have is seeing the, uh, yeah, the signing from Germany, get him out there and uh, see what he can do for us uh, with, the, uh, with our midfielders. And what do you think about the Gabe Farfan suspension? Do you think it's overkill, or do you think the league was right to give the extra two game suspension? The extra two? No, I, I don't agree with the extra two. Uh, I understand the suspension. I understand the rules. And, right, there's a violation there with the way he tackled. But, uh, no, two, two games seems a, a bit extreme for, for the type of tackle that it was. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. All right, I'm here with James Clemmer. Section 109, who's your favorite player, bud? Danny Kaloff. Why do you like DC so much? Um, because on the first game when I saw him, he had, a shark, he had a, his mohawk, and I liked it because I called him Sharkhead. So you think he's, uh, he's going to be back today, or you think he's still hurt? I think he's going to be back today. You have a prediction? What do you think the Union are going to do today against San Jose? Um... I think the, they they might score a goal, maybe. One goal or more than that? Mm, one. All right. Well, I think uh, the way they they've been going, they'll they'll take any goals they can get. Thanks a lot, bud. I'm here with Dimaggio Taylor Reed, 117. We're talking a little bit about some of the suspensions. Do you think the fact that there were two red cards and then the Novak suspension? Do you think that forced the MLS to give even more uh, in adding two, uh, two games to Gabe Far fans? Yeah, I think if Novak didn't like antagonize things, it would have been a lot easier. It would have been a lot easier. By coming on the field, he sort of made it a bigger issue than it was. I think the Novak thing really made it worse. And now, from the game, there's a lot of stuff off the ball. There are a lot of issues with the, with the Chivas players hitting the deck a, a little too easily. 
is that what got the union going? Is that what riled Novak up, or, or was it just he didn't think the tackle was, was that severe? I think that is what riled Novak up. It's in world football, though. Everybody does it. Ashley Young for United falls over at the drop of a hat. He got two penalties for it, didn't he, this season? So we'll see. That... No, no, you promised me you were going to talk United, <laughs> and yet you bashed one of your own players. So as long as you bash United, you can, you can come on any time. So with those three games, who do you like um, out at left back? Do you think Lopez comes back in, or do you think Shane Williams bumps over to the other side? I think Lopez. I like Lopez. Because I remember the first game this season, uh, Williams made a mistake, didn't he? Is that Williams? Not sure. Williams was coming out wide right, and Lopez, Lopez yeah, had yeah, a, he did. He made a mistake first game this season. I was, he like fell over the ball, and it was horrible. So you're so you're saying Porfirio Lopez on the left to get, to get a, a, the call after sitting out the last few games in favor yeah. of Gabe Farfan. Yeah, give him a chance. Give him a shot. If he sat out a few games, it'll give him something to play for, won't it? Fair enough. See if it goes that way. All right, I'm here with Brian DeLauder. Still talking about suspensions. It's the big topic. The extra two games for Game Farfan. You think that was warranted, or, or did MLS overreact? Uh, big time overreaction because of if he got two games, why did Marquez only get two games after breaking Shea Salinas' collarbone with an awful WWF tackle? It's, I mean, it's, it's a fair criticism because it did seem like it was a 50-50 that, yeah. that was a bit of an overzealous challenge. But it, it's the rule now. It's, it's the three-full uh, three game suspension. Who do you want to see playing left back? Does Lopez come back in, or, or do you think they shuffle it around, maybe try Williams on the left? Uh, either Williams or um, the new guy. The new guy's good. You like, you like, Ray, you like yeah. Ray Gattis? Yeah, real good. So slide him over and then put Caleb back in. Lopez, no. You think he's done for the union, or do you think he just needs to sit a little longer and, and collect himself? I don't like him that much. All right, fair enough. Yeah. And Peter Novak, two games off. Do you think, I mean, obviously he's going to have a, a big say in who, in who plays. Do you think there's any difference without him being there, or, or to, does Hackworth just know the drill too well? Well, we'll see if he'll uh, throw in a 4-4-2 and get Mwanga on the field, right? Uh, it seems to be what a lot of people want. <laughs> Thanks a lot.